All right, guys, so we're back with uh, Say Your Predators. Zero out of five complete. The five predators of New Phyrexia are going for your throat. Survive and win on your next turn. Can you solve the puzzle? this puzzle five ways, slaying a different predator each time? I guess we'll give it five shots then. All right, let's stop time here for a second. Read what these predators do. Whenever an opponent taps a land, and land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any land type of land, type that land produced. Okay. This one is a 6-6. Six, six. Haste, creatures, your opponent control enter the battlefield tapped. Swamp walk at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep that player sacrifices a creature at the beginning of your upkeep return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield All I can say is wow, I'm glad that we're in this situation that we just let all predators get out there the Beginning of your end step draw seven cards each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by seven What? So I have no hand size then? I'm guessing he, he would have just had to come into the battlefield, or I have no idea. And... Oh, they're creators, not predators. Creators. Of course, everyone else looks like a predator. And then Elish Norn, which is awesome. So, what do I have? I have Spark Elemental. I mean, I'm at 24 life. I'm not in a bad situation. Avatar of Hope will never see play. Oh, if I have three or less life, I can play it. Um, trample. Target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn. Plus three, plus three. Plus one, plus one until end of turn. Untap that creature. Deals damage to to target spells controller equal to that spells converted mana cost, and creature gains haste. All right, bring the creators. Okay, so logically, logically we want to give Bane Slayer first strike and hit one of the either the blue or the red one the red one's probably the best bet I will gain six life I will take nine eighteen not enough to kill me if I block either one of these guys so if we kill the blue one first since we're going to have to do this a whole bunch of different times. We'll go with the blue one. Lock, stop timer. Uh, giant growth. Flying first strike, life link. Yeah. We take a whole bunch of damage. He ends his turn. Bane Slayer goes back. Oh, I have to sack a creature. That's right. So we'll play Avatar of Hope. Um. No, we gotta do that differently if we're gonna kill that Avatar. So we killed the blue one. I'm going to have to tap the red one for the mana so that we can kill it next turn. So we'll use Brute Force on Bane Slayer. So we'll kill the blue one first. So the ones that have eight toughness are going to be the ones that are going to be hard to kill because I'm So 
So we'll get down. We'll get the ones out of the way that I can deal with more easily. Okay, so this will put us back down to three life. I play Avatar of Hope, or I play Avatar of Might. It enters the battlefield tapped. We do veteran reflexes there. And I do burst of speed. And target creature comes white until on the turn. Tap that creature, draw a card. Baneslayer. And that's seven. That wins us with the blue card dead. So we'll play this again. And this time, let's go for the red one, because he's going to be a lot, lot, a lot easier to kill. Um, because I should be able to just do it with Bane Slayer. This should be the easiest one to kill, period. Block, giant growth. Oh no, I can't. It's going to have to be the same order as last time. Maybe not. No. We can we can do it this way. This works. Should work. You know, I'm just thinking it very quickly in my head, but it should work. Draw a card, target player puts the top. He didn't have that last time we played him. Why did he just thought scour me? I mean, that works too. I mean, what I was going to do was I was going to go better reflexes here. Spark elemental. What, what? Why did Spark Elemental just die? Oh, right, right. So, <laughs> Elish Norn, no duh. Okay. So we might need to do this a little bit differently. We want to keep four mana open for the Thought Scour that he cast on me because he's going to cast it again, because that's just the way the game works. So we'll block the red one again. Block, stop timer, giant growth. And we want to keep one red open for sizzle, I believe. I don't know how much sizzle costs, but... Uh, stop timer. Ah, uh, hey, 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 hey. Just because I stopped zooming in on the card doesn't mean you can continue with the timer. Okay? Game? Okay? Um, there. Lock, stop timer, giant growth, boom. Okay, it leaves the red open for me. So hopefully Sizzle's one red. I mean, it's nice that he just kind of gives the game to me, so. No, it's three. What am I supposed to do here? Ha! 
Ha. He obviously cast Sizzle for a reason. Um... Well, this guy should be relatively easy to kill. At least I think so. I mean... He should probably be one of the easiest ones to kill. the same thing. I gotta deal with the spark elemental. Or play the avatar of hope. Give it haste. Wait, what a sec. Wait a second. Why didn't it tap it? Huh. Mine's... Oh, I was going to say mine's still getting in the battlefield tapped, isn't it? Yeah, that just goes straight to the graveyard. Huh. Well, I think I picked the easy one first. Like, the stupid easy one first. Because we did the... We did the red one. Right? So yeah, I think I think that one. I think if we kill the green one, like we just did, that I've got to use the paralytic feedback on the tome scour. Nope, don't block there. I mean, Elish Elish should be real easy to block as well. Same with the, uh, with the, uh, black one here. So he's going to Tome Scour now. As soon as he goes up to seven cards, he's going to be like, oh, hey, look, a Tome Scour. And I'm going to stop the timer, hit him with this, say, you take one, you son of a bitch. He goes down to three. We untap our lands, because all of them but two untap. We sack that, and then we sizzle. And that there is the green one. So we've done blue, or we've done red, and we've done green, right? I think. No, we may not have done red, because I think we used... that to kill the red one. Yeah, because we killed the blue one because he didn't Tome Scour us the first time. So, we've killed blue and we've killed green. Ellis should be just as easy to kill as the last one. Unless you play something different. But Ellis should be real easy to kill because you just go boom go block and I pump twice um, yeah pump twice I 
Hang Slayer gets all big and scary. He tome scours us. We say, okay, you can tome scour us, man. I guess it'll be fine. We'll live somehow. Sack this guy, play Spark Elemental, and pump it. That will be Elish. So that will be blue, green, white. Black should be just about as easy. Because black should just be me swinging on the Bane Slayer. That kills him. Play this again. This time killing the black one. And then we'll go back to the red one and try and figure him out. Block there. <laughs> there. Well, this makes this fun. This is this is a fun little challenge. Because it's how many times can I kill kill this guy killing different things? Veterans reflexes. Well, that's not cool. Didn't know you had that one, jerk. That makes it a bit harder. Thank you. So now I see what we need to do. We need to either wait for him to plummet. <laughs> just it's just the cards that you just don't see the other games just kind of ruins ruins the fun. Lock stop timer. Pump. Pump. So we attack him, if he takes it, then we're okay. And I can just sizzle his face. Or if he doesn't take it, reflexes. And there we go. Uh, you've unlocked a new achievement, Creator Slayer. Uh, I think we still need to kill the red one, though, if I'm not mistaken. The red one still needs to die. No, well, we've done them all. I don't recall doing the red one, though. I remember killing the red one. We've, we've killed the red one. I don't think we've won killing the red one, though. So, the red one would let us attack with a Hellspark Elemental, which is probably what we... Well, no, it wouldn't let us attack with a Hellspark Elemental. It would let us put out... Yeah, we had to have, because... We put out an avatar of might and untapped it, so we could just play an avatar of might. We could sack it, play an avatar of might. I could untap. Well, I could give a plus one, which is yeah. Let's play it out. 
real quick, just because I don't think I did it. Uh, stop timer. Put you there. Block, stop timer. Let's go red. So we have to sack him. Yeah, I don't think we killed the red one because I thought this was tap target creature, not untap target creature when we did it. Okay. You can not scar me. No big deal. So we get rid of him. I play him for pretty much nothing. I don't know how I'm going to kill him, though. That's the thing. Oh, I can get both of these guys out there. Give them both haste and attack. Spark Elemental. But that's still not enough damage. Um, I don't think I did this one. I really don't. Oh, you're flying. I could just play you and Giant Growth you. My bad. <laughs> I was looking at it for like hell, like I was like, I could have sworn she was a flyer. She is, just hidden under there, right there, in the text. So that, that's the red one then. Boom. Um, block, stop timer, brute force. So if I did the red one twice, I apologize. But that is the red one. The blue one's just is just the same, basically. I actually honestly think it is the same. I think it's the same thing we did with the red one. Where you block, you give it a uh, plus one with uh, the red giant growth. Uh, we sack the being slayer, we play the avatar of hope. Uh, we give the Avatar of Hope haste, and we giant grow the Avatar of Hope. Okay. Cool. And then we hit for five, we win the game, everybody's happy, and we can move on to the next set of challenges. Although these ones were a blast. These were this was a lot of fun. So let's move on to the next one.